The primary mission of Marine Band San Diego is to provide musical support for military and civic ceremonies. The 50 Marines of the band perform in several different ensembles to include the concert band, marching band, brass quintet, woodwind quintet, jazz combo, rock band, and brass band. In order to encourage music education and showcase the vibrant history and tradition of military music, the band is active in providing clinics and concerts for high school and college students throughout the United States, serving as musical role models for developing musicians. For more information on upcoming performances, we encourage you to follow Marine Band San Diego on Facebook. The band is led on the march by Gunnery Sergeant Hugh Words, drum major, and Gunnery Sergeant Francisco Gaxiola, enlisted conductor. Arguably the most famous Marine musician, John Philip Sousa wrote Semper Fidelis in 1888. From Latin, meaning always faithful, Sousa wrote it one night while in tears after his listening to his fellow Marines sing the Marines' hymn. Inspired by this camaraderie and brotherhood, our first selection is the official march of the United States Marine Corps and is dedicated to all Marines, past and present. To the World War II veterans of the audience, we salute you. To honor the legacy of those who fought in World War II, we present the 1940s classic, Sing, Sing, Sing.
and gentlemen, the ceremony will begin in about five minutes. And I think I have the perfect way to fill that time, because no Marine Band concert would be complete without the playing of our national march. Ladies and gentlemen of Detroit, please enjoy John Philip Sousa's The Stars and Stripes Forever. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of General Robert B. Neller, Commandant of the Marine Corps, I welcome you to the official opening of Marine Week Detroit. As of tonight, over 700 Marines and their equipment have deployed from bases around the country to Motor City to showcase America's premier expeditionary force. Throughout this exciting week, you'll have the opportunity to work out with the Marines, see and touch tanks, helicopters, and other equipment at the Riverwalk display site, witness the capabilities of our air ground team, and enjoy performances by Marine Band San Diego and the Marine Corps Silent Drill Platoon. This ceremony's invocation will now be delivered by Lieutenant Commander Charles Owens, Chaplain, United States Navy. Let us pray. Almighty God, we look expectantly to this week and the opportunity to celebrate the history and values that unify us all as Americans. For the Marines and sailors who have come from places near and far, 
I pray that they would be encouraged and strengthened by the legacy of the city of Detroit and the state of Michigan, a national model of industrious work ethic, culture-defining art and music, and an inspirational spirit of resiliency. May this week also serve as an opportunity to reinforce the feeling of civic pride for a community that has contributed so much to our nation's defense and prosperity. We invite your presence to be with us in all that we say and do. Amen. Please join me in welcoming the official party, Michigan Lieutenant Governor Brian Kelly, Commandant of the Marine Corps, General Robert Neller, and Marine Week Detroit Task Force Commander, Brigadier General Raymond Deschino. Please rise for the presentation of colors and the playing of our national anthem. left carries the official battle colors of the Marine Corps. The 54 streamers and silver bands displayed with the battle colors commemorate the military campaign in which Marines have participated. They span the entire history of the nation from the American Revolution to the present. It is the privilege of Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C. to be entrusted with the custody of this battle color.
Please welcome a native of East Lansing and the 37th Commandant of the Marine Corps, General Robert B. Neller. Hello, good evening, everybody. Thanks so much for coming out. I uh, really appreciate uh, Lieutenant Governor being here and our Gold Star families. And a special shout out to all our veterans. I'd ask all our veterans to stand and be recognized by the crowd, if you would, please. You know, since 9-11, as we travel around the country, Americans come up to us and uh, say, thank you for your service. When I came into Marine Corps in 1975, it wasn't like that. And I would attribute the fact that it's changed to our Vietnam veterans, because when they came home, they were not properly welcomed back. So to all of them, I just say a simple thank you very much to our Vietnam vets. So I've had people come up to me and say, why did you come to Detroit? I said, well, we actually had that conversation. So earlier this year, when we're sitting around discussing where we're going to have Marine Week, and we've had Marine Week now for eight years. Last year, we were in Nashville. The year before, we were in Phoenix. And so we're at the meeting, and they had named a couple of cities, and I said, well, what about Detroit? Detroit? I said, yeah, what about Detroit? So Detroit and the Marine Corps, we got a lot in common. First, there's a heck of a lot of Marines that come out of Michigan. We could get a few more. I need your help with that. I said, but the Marine Corps and Detroit, we got a lot in common. We're both tough. We both know how to deal with adversity. We both work hard. We're good, straight up people. We like our sports, and we like to have, drink beer and brats and have a good time. There's water. They got a river. We can do a demonstration. And I'm from Michigan, and I said so. So that's why we're here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're really here, not just because Detroit is one of the great cities of our nation, but I thought it would be a great place for your Marines to come and for you to see them and watch what they do. So there's a number of events and their schedules out that'll tell you what they are, the big demonstration Sunday down on the river. But what I would really ask you to do if you come to any of these events, is to talk to the Marines that are there. Not the officers, not the old guys or gals like me, or the sergeant major, some junior PFC, Lance Corporal, Corporal. Talk to them, ask them where they're from, ask them what they do, and ask them why they join your Marine Corps. And they'll tell you, because they wanted a challenge, they wanted to serve their nation. They wanted to give back. They wanted to better themselves. We all have our reasons as to why we joined when we joined and did what we did. But I think you'll be impressed because the most important resource, not just of our country, but of our Marine Corps, are our people. And we got really good people, and they come from you. And I thank you for that so much. So hopefully you'll have a good time being able to watch some of the things that your Marines do. It should give you some faith in the youth of this nation, who sometimes, I think, get criticized unnecessarily. Obviously, people haven't been to too many Friday night football games or wrestling matches or any of the athletic events or been to our schools. Our young people are just like we were when we were that age. We just want a chance. We want an opportunity to give ourselves a better place in this world. They want to compete. They want to be taught. But they want to contribute, and they want to make, make this a better place. 
So hopefully you get a chance to talk to them. Hopefully you'll get a chance to watch some of the demonstrations and uh, see some of the capabilities that your Marine Corps has to keep this nation safe and keep America the greatest country on the face of the earth. So with that, again, thank you very much. I'm going to go to the Tigers game tonight. I'm, 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 I'm trying to be hopeful. <laughs> when I was a young boy, every fall, my mother and my brother and sister, we got on the train. We came to Detroit to get our school clothes. We went to Hudson's, and then we met my dad at the Statler Hotel, and I had prime rib, and we went to Tiger Stadium, and Al Kaline always hit a home run. So if, if Al Kaline runs on the field tonight, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> but you got to believe. You got to believe. So thank you so much for being out here tonight. Thank you for your support, not just today, but every day for our soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, on behalf of the Secretary of Defense, Secretary Mattis, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Joe Dunford, Chief of Staff of the Army, Mark Milley, Chief of Staff of the Air Force, Dave Goldfein, and our Chief of Naval Operations, John Richardson. Thanks for your support to our military, your military, and, and we'll do our very best to live up to your expectations. Thank you very much. Lieutenant Governor Kelly. Ladies and gentlemen, by order of the Commandant, we present the Marines of Marine Air Ground Task Force, Marine Week Detroit. Please join me in welcoming the Lieutenant Governor of the State of Michigan, the Honorable Brian Kelly. Well, what an honor it is today to carry the official proclamation making this Marine Week, September 6th through 10th here in Michigan. That second sentence of the Declaration of Independence, it says, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The next sentence says that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men that derive their just powers from the consent 
of the governed. And so we are here today to say thank you to those who have dedicated their lives to securing those rights. Here we are now, peaceably assembled, speaking freely. The service was opened with a prayer, freedom of religion. I see press here, freedom of press. And heck, if you want to come down here when I'm done, you can redress your government of grievances. <laughs> All First Amendment rights that we enjoy here. And so we now say thank you to those that are essential in ensuring that those rights we have had, we will have. To recognize the excellence and the dedication, the professionalism, the valor, the courage, and especially the sacrifice. And a special thank you to those Gold Star families that are here today. and our veterans, and those who are currently serving. Such a small thing to proclaim a week, 242 years. That's a long time to remain faithful, and yet they're always faithful. And so on behalf of the state of Michigan, I want to say thank you. From the office of the governor, the following state proclamation is hereby issued. Whereas the United States Marine Corps has protected citizens and guarded their freedom for the past 242 years, and whereas the term Marine has been associated with courage and military efficiency since its creation on November 10, 1775 in Philadelphia, and whereas the annual community event, Marine Week, will be hosted in Detroit, a celebration of community, country, and core that will showcase the history, capabilities, pride, and professionalism of the Marine Corps, as well as honor the service and sacrifice of Marines and their families. Whereas more than 700 Marines will visit the Motor City from September 6th through the 10th of 2017, allowing Michiganders in and around Metro Detroit the opportunity to interact with the heroes who serve and protect our nation while participating in a variety of free and public ceremonies and events and communities outreach initiatives held at locations in and around downtown Detroit. Now, therefore, I, Rick Snyder, Governor of Michigan, do hereby proclaim September 6th through the 10th, 2017, as Marine Week in Michigan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant Governor Kelly will now present the state proclamation to the Marine Week Detroit Task Force Commander, Brigadier General Raymond Deschino. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, in demonstration of the Marine Corps' renowned discipline, I direct your attention to the grass for performance by the Marine Corps Silent Drill Platoon. The Marines before you represent nearly seven decades of marching and rifle drill precision, premiering at Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C., during the sunset parades of 1948. These Marines performed their precision drill in hundreds of public appearances throughout the United States and abroad each year. In addition, they represent the Marine Corps at numerous ceremonies in the national capital area, honoring visiting dignitaries and heads of state. Comprised of highly trained infantry Marines from Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C., the silent drill platoon executes its drill sequence without cadence or verbal command. The M1 rifles they carry with fixed bayonets weigh in excess of 10 and 1 half pounds. Representing Marines around the world, the silent drill platoon demonstrates the finest in Marine professionalism, esprit de corps, and discipline. The platoon commander is Captain Gregory Jerchak of Bedford, New York, 
The platoon rifle inspector is Corporal Jairus Wade of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Ladies and gentlemen, Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C. proudly presents the United States Marine Corps Silent Drill Platoon.
ladies and gentlemen, the United States Marine Corps Silent Drill Platoon. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the Marines' hymn. This concludes today's ceremony. We hope to see you throughout the week at our static displays along the River Walk, during the task force demonstrations on the Detroit River on Friday and set on Sunday, or at any of the other main events and ceremonies occurring throughout your great city. On behalf of Robert B. Neller and the United States Marine Corps, thank you for attending today's ceremony.